Wild Dog, also known as the Lycaon Pictus, is an organism that biologists believe to have der derived from an assortment of organisms due to attributes that make up its physical structure and anatomy. The first stage of evolution, or the domain, consisted of an organism whose cells contain a nucleus and is not heterotrophic, for example, protozoa. The kingdom animal evolved from a eukaryote by becoming heterotrophic, meaning that they feed directly or indirectly on other living things. The octopus illustrates this stage of the cladogram very well. The phylum named Chordata vertebrata included an animal processing notochord, a hollow dorsal notochord, and pharyngeal slits, an endocile and post-anal tail for some period of their life cycle. Take clownfish for instance. The African mild dog also includes a subphyla vertebrata. The class of the Lycaonida pictus is called Mammalia. The endodermic amniotes that are distinguished from the reptiles and the birds by containing the properties of hair. Three middle ear bones, mammary glands in females, and neocortex. The mammalian brain regulates body temperature and the circulatory system including the four chambered heart in this period within structure exemplifies the buffalo lions could have evolved from the buffalo considering that the order is carnivora which classifies placental mammals that primarily eat meat and typically are terrestrial organisms of this order generally have sharp strong claws with never fewer than four toes on each foot and contain well-developed prominent canine teeth and cheek teeth that mainly have cutting edges. The next organism on the cladogram may have been the German Shepherd because the family is was Canada and dwelled on domestic dogs, wolves, foxes, jackals, coyotes, and plenty other lesser known extinct, extinct dog-like animals. The the species, the genus of the Lycaon genus may have consisted, does not exist because it consisted of an extinct animal that is unidentified. The species Pictus is a canid found only in Africa, particularly in savannas and lightly wooded areas. It is diversely labeled the African wild dog, African hunting dog, cape hunting dog, African painted dog, Painted wolf, painted hunting dog, spotted dog, or ornate wolf. Since the classification has been explained by my friend Ramsey, I'm going to explain a little bit of the evolution of this animal. The African wild dog has endured many different adaptations. This organism has been domesticated for many, many years, evolving friendly characteristics and behavior and other characteristics such as their diets. One thing in common with the wild dog and the domesticated dog is their eyesight, which has evolved for better sight during hunting and during the night. The Lycaon pictus is a particularly involved long slender legs for great strides when chasing prey or escaping predators. You can even compare these legs to, of the pictus to the famous racing dog breed known as the greyhound. Another similarity in the greyhound and the wild dog is their high endurance levels. These endurance levels allow for the organism to run at high speed during long periods of time. Now the ecology of this animal is pretty wide, including there are many ranges of habitats. The kind of pick the species has a very diverse habitat overall. These organisms can be found in deserts, grassland
forests, and even savannas. For a good visualization, we have selected a forest to film the video in. Let's talk about the organisms needs now. This is a very funny organism in its environment. Due to the fact that these animals run together in packs up to 15, they have no main prey or predator. Of course, there is a dominant presence of animals like crocs, lions, and leopards, but the pictus still has many capabilities of escaping. The organism sleeps at night, just like the rest of its prey. So nighttime attacks isn't a common thing to happen. Even with the pictus sleeping on the ground anywhere like your dog at home probably does. This organism in particular has a really weird food chain. The Lycaeus is a very untouched species, like I like mentioned before, crocs, lions, and leopards, as well as hyenas are at the top of the food chain. The, Ly the Lycos are right in the middle, but the prey for these organisms include big game hunting animals, ranch animals, as well as many animals in Africa such as buffaloes, zebras, and impalas. The diets of these animals are similar to many dama animals like the lion, but the difference is that the pictus feeds on its prey quickly just so another organism doesn't have time to compete for the meal. Humans have greatly impacted these wild animals. Wild is a term that will no more be held after all the domestication of these dogs comes into place and the population of the wildness dies off. On the other hand, Humans have greatly and negatively impacted the population due to the killings of these animals. Like mentioned before, these organisms enjoy feeding upon ranch animals like cow, chicken, and horses, leading to many trappings and shootings of the Lycos. Today, there are only approximately three to 5,000 organisms left in the whole world. Environmentalists are doing nothing to save them, which means no conservation. Fun facts. Number one, each African wild dog has their unique color, pattern of color. This is used by scientists to help identify each individual. Number two, African wild dogs can run speeds up to 35 miles per hour. Number three, their scientific name means painted wolf. Un number four, unlike other species, once males reach maturity, it is the male's responsibility to stay within their natal pack. Females often migrate and join new packs. Number five, pups that are old enough to eat solid food are given priority at a kill as soon as possible. Number six, female African wild dogs are called wild bitches. Number seven, pack. the African wild dog pack shares responsibility when protecting the pups. Number eight, when African wild dogs are feeding, they lack aggression towards each other. Number nine, the African wild dog can survive up to 11 years in the wild. Number 10, the African wild dog is very territorial considering the fact that it consumes up to 1,500 kilometers of territory.